All right, here we have the limited time series for the last of the GT4 cars. And the last one here, the fifth, is, of course, the Aston Martin Vantage GT4. So uh, this event is running through um, July 30th, Tuesday, uh, depending on where you are in the world. For me, that's actually a 29th Monday evening. So check your time zone and plan accordingly. So basically you get about a week to complete this one. Just like all the other ones that we've done so far. So, um, same gold price, same cost of the car. PR is slightly different. Uh, this one's base PR is 48.5, goes all the way up to 68.5. And to complete this limited time series, they are saying we need to bring the PR up to 63.6. So, um, yeah, considering the cost of the car is same as all the other GT4 cars, uh, 475 gold. And we get uh, 75 gold rewards, so I'm anticipating. I don't see any reason why it would cost any different than the other four cars that we've run so far. Oh, look. All right, so... Earn a 2019 Aston Martin Vantage GT4 by 100% completing this special limited time series. Follow up to the most popular GT4 car in the world arrives on the scene with an all new look. In terms of looks, I think this is the best one out of the five. But then again, I generally like the looks and the sound of Aston Martins in the game, so. I am a bit biased, what can I say? And we also get a 20% discount. That's not really much of a discount, is it now? And this car is, I believe, featured in this week's um, weekly time trial, I think, Porsche 962C. And of course, I already own it. Um, so, and it's fully upgraded as well. I believe if you don't have it, you get, uh, what do you call it? Upgrade discount as well. By how much? Um, I'm assuming 30%, but, uh, they've been getting a little stingy with the upgrade discount, I feel like. And, uh, yes, of course, uh, it's the Ramstein Porsche. Anyway, um, well, since while I'm out here, let's make sure we do the cloud save to make sure that uh, when I do my biddings here in terms of uh, completing the series right away to confirm the information, I don't accidentally get, uh, you know, the cloud save doesn't kick in automatically because uh, that would be a shame. Although I do have my backup device. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Complete the series for 860 gold. The reward structure identical as you might expect. All right. So how is this series going to be? different than the others. Well, the Camaro one was, uh, I think, one of the shortest ones. At least it felt very quick. And uh, Mercedes one seems like it's the longest one so far. We'll see how the Vantage one is going to be. The reason why, of course, the Mercedes uh, AMG GT4 limited type series felt so long or it's still going for me 
uh, feels so long is because we get so many laps <laughs> um, and placing that fourth car on, in the, the you know line of uh, five cars you know if they had it at the beginning maybe I would be a little bit more thrilled about it the fact that it's so late in the series I feel like uh, too long anyway last year let's check into this Hockenheim Grand Prix Cup it's gonna be a three lapper which is fitting for the last cup race right so that's fairly consistent and the PR requirement is 63.6 as they published it so all right and the base PR 48.5 so first round of cash upgrade uh, first round of upgrade should be cash upgrade the racing dollars uh, with a 12 hour wait so let's see 106,300 so yeah this is already looking just like the other ones so let's get them going and all right and 78.5 yep And suspension should be 96. Yep. Exhaust 89.6. And the brakes 69.3. And finally, tires and wheels 83.2. So that is total of 616 thousand four hundred racing dollars just like all the other gt4 cars that we've had now let's see how many uh, how much pr boost we, we get here uh, generally we've been getting about five point pr boost so we should be up to 53.5 let's see if that's how we get yes we do so right on um, five, uh, five PR point boost. All right, so now it's time for the round up second tier upgrades, which are going to be all gold and 286 gold is what I'm anticipating. So, yep, 50 gold for engine 46 for drivetrain and bodies 36 so yep this is looking about as identical as they're gonna get oops skip the exhaust not that it really matters 42 and 32 was brakes and finally tires and wheels 38 yep all right now that uh, second tier of grades did give us um, slightly higher 5.1 PR boost so that got us up to 58.6 now of course that means third tier racing dollar upgrades are gonna be uh, giving us five point PR boost so um, and it's gonna be a one day R&D as you all know by now 239,100 and the drivetrain body suspension exhaust brakes and finally tires and wheels so yep the cost is identical all five gt4 cars have the same um upgrade cost assuming that these 
three upgrades across the board should do it. Let's confirm. And we get up to 63.6. So, yep, three upgrades across the board. Uh, 286 gold for the upgrade uh, in gold. And 2 million three hundred uh two million three thousand three hundred racing dollars total um and the total wait time of of course 36 hours one day 12 hours so yeah now let's uh, do a quick series overview as always we got elimination at the brickyard speed record at Suzuka West and the cup is going to be at the national circuit red bull ring now let's check out the lap count this is going to give us pretty much information of what kind of service um series this is going to be two laps all right so this is going to be longer than what we've done with the camaro but uh, i think this is going to be more like normal um length series not as long as Mercedes. Anyway, tier two, we got speed snap at Mazda Raceway. Drag race, well, it's a drag race. And tier two drag race, we should be able to do it while the car is still in green, in good service status. And the cup at Melbourne, two laps. And the PR requirement is 51.3 so obviously we do need some racing dollar upgrades as always to get past tier 2 to get those 12 hour racing dollars done right away at least get started right away right all right tier 3 we got autocross at dubai international endurance at nurburgring sprint circuit and the cup at berlin and two laps all right so that's not terribly long that's a fun track i like berlin out of all the um formula e tracks of course it's like got the long, uh, widest track i think too so makes it a little bit easier you know what i mean uh, and the pr requirement is 52.7 so that's all within the range of first tier racing dollars and of course, that's where uh, t tier four comes in to put an end. <laughs> um, although uh, some people seem to get lucky. I call it lucky because I couldn't get the uh, racing dollars alone to get past tier four. But apparently there might be some bug that currently exists in the game that allows you as long as you, like, PR requirement is basically ignoring the decimal point. So, um, for example, in tier 4 for Aston Martin here, cup at Brands Hatch, which is a three-lapper. That's a short track, so anyway, requires a PR of 53.8. Now, if you have first tier racing dollars, you know, you get up to 53.8. Five, right so if you ignore the decimal point they're identical so it allows you to race in this event which means you can collect 25% completion reward of 8 gold I know it's not a whole lot but hey if you're not planning on winning the car then it's a good way to kind of check out the car and also you know trade in your useless racing dollars for a uh, few gold so that is not nothing right anyway so that is the cup but uh, let's check out the other series here too head to head at suzuka grand prix uh that's a full full circuit and oh hunter's gonna be at hokenheim grand prix so these are full lap on the Grand Prix circuits um, and the cup is going to be the shortest one I think three laps at Brands Hatch anyway 
So that is where you're gonna, otherwise, I'll most likely, I'm gonna have to get the gold upgrades by, uh, in order to get past tier 4, because, you know, not that lucky, apparently. Alright, anyway, tier 5, Illumination at Mount Panorama. Cutting is where I can park the car, though if I'm, by this point, my car most likely be in, uh, will be in critical condition, so no reason to spare service bars because I'll be out. Um, and uh, yeah, speed record at Silverstone National. Would I be able to get past that without servicing the car? Well, um, I guess it kind of depends on how many well, with the gold upgrades, I feel like I should have sufficient number of upgrades to kind of get me through. We'll see. Um, because with the Mercedes, I think I had to get the car serviced relatively early. I don't remember exactly which tier, but it was early. And then, uh, Cup is going to be at Bugatti Circuit. Two laps and the PR requirement, 54 point. All right, moving on. Tier 6, we got Endurance at Monza Road Course, Autocross at Laguna Seca, and the Cup at the National Circuit of, Circuit of the Americas. Two laps, so this is pretty short, with the PR requirement of 55.7. Yeah, um... I feel like tier 1 race should have been a single lap cup race, but you know what? Not gonna complain. Alright, tier 7, we got head to head at the Daytona motorcycle course. And the Hunter is gonna be at Spa. That should be, yeah, the head to head is a single lap. And the cup is at Nurburgring night race. And it's gonna be sprint circuit. Two laps with the PR requirement of 56.6. Alright, so, so far so good. And tier 8, we got speed record at the long road circuit of Leipzig Porsche test track. Um, that track usually isn't terribly difficult to set the top speed, so... I think we shouldn't have too much trouble there. Elimination at Silverstone Bridge Grand Prix and the cup is at Catalonia National. Three laps. Alright, so that's a higher lap count, isn't it? And the PR requirement is 57.4, so we're still good with the second tier upgrades. Should be able to get past tier 9 and we probably will get stuck in tier 10 as always. Anyway, we got tier 9, Endurance at National Circuit Red Bull Ring, Autocross at Suzuka West, and the cup is going to be at Indy Road Course. Ooh, three laps. That's going to be long, longer. Uh, 58.3 is the PR requirement, so we're pretty darn close to the max of second tier upgrades. Remember, with the second tier upgrades, uh, PR got up to 58.6. So that means next tier, tier 10, we're going to need those racing dollar upgrades, third tier racing dollar upgrades, at least some of them done. So um, let's see, speed snap at Nürburgring Grand Prix. Where does that take place? I don't remember. <laughs> um, and then we got head to head at Hockenheim National. That's a pretty short one. And the cup is going to be a Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix. Two laps. All right. Grand Prix Circuit, two laps this far into the series is not unusual. But, um, well, and the uh, PR requirement, requirement being 59.1, meaning basically B 
beyond the second tier upgrade is not unusual as well. So of course at this point you better have those racing dollar upgrades, third tier upgrades done. And uh, yeah, speed snap, we'll see in tier 10 what kind of issue that's going to pose. If that's not going to pose any issues, then tier 11 drag race might, because as you know, drag races are a little tricky, or it can be, depending on uh, how well trained your bots are. But anyway. Tier 11, we got Hunter at Bugatti Circuit. Drag Race at Dubai Grand Prix. Does it really matter? <laughs> and then Cup is going to be at Bathurst. Mount Panorama, probably two laps. Oh, three laps. So this is going to be a getting long towards the end here. All right. PR requirement is 60 even. And tier 12. 75% mark here. I get autocross at Hong Kong. Illumination at Manza Road Course. And then the cup is going to be at Daytona Road Course. Three laps with the PR requirement of 60.8. So yeah, past the tier 10, things are getting kind of long, aren't they? Tier 13 head to head at Melbourne all right that's a pretty short one Hunter at Brands Hatch that's even shorter and then the cup is going to be at Mazda Raceway three laps okay so that is shorter three laps than some others that we've had leading into this point PR requirement is 61.7 and tier 14, we got speed record at the Indianapolis road course. So, and uh, speed snap at Berlin. So we got a couple of speed events. So this might be requiring some uh, service. So possibly two or three, um, services needed to complete this event which is um, a bit on a higher end of servicing isn't it considering that there were events that we didn't have to service at all right anyway we got the cup at spa most likely two laps oh three lap cup at the spa all right so and the PR requirement is 62.6. So then I guess the last cup race at Hockenheim Grand Prix triple lap isn't all that long in comparison, I feel like. I think three, I think Spa is larger track, longer track than Hockenheim. I'm pretty sure. So, all right, the elimination. For final tier, tier 15, we got at Suzuka East, and then we also have Endurance at Silverstone International Circuit. And as we checked in earlier, the final cup is at Hockenheim Grand Prix. Three laps with the PR requirement of 63.6. .6. So, all right, Aston Martin, of course, along with the Audi is more on the grippier side of things. Uh, remember, Porsche and Mercedes were the, the more of a speedster things with a little bit uh, more on the slippery side. So uh, with the Camaro supposedly coming out on top of everything, right? Except for the top speed. So um, yeah, uh, obviously I'm going for all five gt4 cars here but uh if you guys have a favorite you know a uh, good time to share now right now that we are getting a chance to drive all of them so yeah share your thoughts in this uh comments below right 
All right, so that does it for this video overview of the limited time series. So we'll see you in the next video. I'm I've got some unfinished business with Mercedes yet, so we'll see you in continuing uh continuing videos or continuation of the Mercedes AMG GT4 limited time series for the time being. But since I need to get these upgrades going right away, I might get started on that right away. So stay tuned for those and we'll see you in the next video. All right, take care guys.